Hello everyone, this is JB back again and welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, we are going to interview fresh grads from UP Diliman and we are going to ask them what they have learned in their stay in UP. So if you guys are interested in that, then keep on watching. So if you guys are new to my channel, I am JB and I'm an incoming second year medical student from St. Luke's Medical Center College of Medicine, William H. Quash Memorial. Yes! So if you guys don't know, I am from UP and people say that UP changes you and I feel like that is a good thing. They say that you are a completely different person from what you were when you entered UP when you finally graduate from the school and for me, I benefited from it and that I learned a lot of things that I still apply in my daily life right now and even in medical school. So for today, we are going to have three fresh grads from UP Diliman and they are also going into medicine. So we are going to ask them what they have learned from their stay in UP Diliman. Hello everyone! Hi! What's up? Okay, so before we start, I want you guys to introduce yourselves first. Let's start with Bettina. Hi, I'm Bettina Dumayuga. I'm from BS Psychology. Hi, I'm Christine Domlado from BS Family Life and Child Development. And I'm Billy Lara from Sports Science. Okay, so let's move on to the first question. So, can you guys share to me something that you've learned about yourself while you guys are in UP? Okay, so I'll start. Um, something I learned about myself is that I'm actually capable of things that I never knew that I was capable of before. Coming from a exclusive high school, parang you don't really know where you are in terms of being a Filipino and also being a UP student. Because parang in my case, being a UP student was more of to please my family because taga UP mga family members ko. But going into UP, parang wow, like ngayon I understand why so many people want to be in the school. And it's also because in every class, you learn that your actions aren't just for yourself, but it's also for the rest of the country. Ako na realize ko na lang to nung medyo patapos na. Kailangan mo talaga mag-build ng good relationships, hindi lang dahil kailangan mo ng connections, pero kasi parang yung college all about learning eh, di ba? So, para sa akin matututo ka, mas matututo ka kung maayos yung relationship mo with others, kung nag-nag-effort ka para um to meet other people and also kasi pagka patapos ka na, bigla ka na realize na kailangan ko pala ng mga recommendation letters ganyan. So, di ba? Ano alam mo yung hindi hindi ko na realize yung mas maaga na kailangan pala talaga mag-build ka ng good relationship lalo na sa mga props mo kasi posibleng sila yung colleagues mo, di ba? So, ayun, para sa akin yun pinaka na realize ko is to build really good relationships. Well, you know, really, so especially my, my last two years at UP, that I want to, I really want to work and serve here, talaga. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a dual citizen in the US. You can move anytime, you can migrate anytime without the the, the hassle of visa, ganon ganon. People have always been my, been in my ear, na oh, sa sa states kana mo trabaho yung you learn more, ganon. UP brings in a lot of upper sectors. You, you're really exposed to all the problems and. It really gives you a, a sense of duty and service that you want to help change whatever the injustice of the system. Grabe naman yung mga sagot ninyo, like very UP. So like, since you guys are talking about like duty sa like country ganyan, so I want to know naman what's something that you've learned about the country or like the community ganyan. Medyo na tackle na ni Billy, but like I just want you guys to expound on it. Let's start with Betts. Okay, so one thing that was like really um, like stand out to me was being more aware of the current issues. Because before I entered UP, parang I thought that politics was something so negative, so I would just stay away from it. But what you learn in UP is that you can't go away from it because that's the life that you're living. It's the country that you live in. So parang you should know what's going on and also know, like what I said earlier, that your actions um, also affect other people. This country has so much that has to be fixed and, you know, being UP students, we should be aware of that so that when we continue in our future professions, you know, we have a duty to 
serve our country and the people. Okay, so ako, ayan, since marami na tayong off-campus activities at marami tayong nakakasalamuha at uh, namumula tayo sa kung anong um, kalagayan ng mga tao sa labas. Ako bilang, ang background ko ay family life and child development. Siguro magpupokus na lang ako sa kalagayan ng um, batang Pilipino. So, narealize ko sa kalagayan ng Pilipino children ay talagang deserve nila ang better kalagayan nila sa Pilipinas. Oo. So, ayun, since isa sila sa vulnerable groups, parang uh, responsibility ng adults at those in power na mag-provide sa kanan ng programs para um, maprotektahan sila, maprotektahan yung rights nila. So, para sa akin, kung paano tayo magbigay importansya sa kabataan, sa Filipina children, ay nare-reflect nun yung trajectory natin sa future. Realization ko sa country ay marami pa rin ng improvement na kailangan gawin. Marami pang work na kailangan gawin para iangat yung kalagayan ng kabataang Pilipino. Ako, ano, you can't be a political talaga. Because, well, ako, I was uh, raised in a privileged position. So, dati, before I did college, parang wala naman nung, nung pakay kasi hindi naman affected. But then, you realize na oppressed sectors, they can't sustain a fight for themselves. Mm-hmm. So, you really have to take a stand. Whatever side you choose really says something about your character. I don't know when, when, when lives are on the line na talaga. You can't stay in the middle ground. I agree. And like, I like your answers talaga. Same kami with bets kasi before entering UP naman, parang what's the point of fighting for other people's rights niya and like hindi naman ako affected, ganyan. See, yeah. that's the privilege that we have now. And feeling ko, what UP does, it it makes you realize na you're privileged. But one thing that UP also teaches us is that, is that hindi lang enough na you learn about those. You have to act dapat for like the betterment of the country talaga. So, okay. So, medyo mabigat na yung usapan natin. Let's, ano naman, <laughs> let's, let's move naman sa lighter load. Okay. So, like, give me one characteristic siguro that you develop nung nasa UP pa lang kayo. Now, let's start with Billy naman. How I interact with people, how I how I read situations or how I, how I read the room. Parang UP taught me to adapt to whatever scenario I'm facing. What about you, Dobes? Okay, so ako, natutunan kong makisama sa iba. Since um, we are from different walks of life, we have different values, different priorities, pero parang kailangan you learn how to work with others para ma-achieve yung goals or things na kailangan yung pag-usap. What about you, Bets? Um, I think parang similar naman to what they both said ng makisama, ganyan-ganyan. But also, to have fun in the midst of struggle. Because inside, kasi a lot of people are great conscious, ganyan, ganyan. But even if you're really focused on your akads and learning, it's parang you realize that it's not just that. So what I like about UP is also they promote extracurriculars, so joining org, sports teams, all of these things to really enjoy. And also like yung going out, making friends, kasi you're only in college once. And I love how UP really facilitates that value na, you know, enjoy the time that you're there. and all these people that you meet uh, para make the most out of the relationships that you keep there. Okay, so another light question for you guys. For you, what does it mean to be a scholar ng bayan? Let's start with Billy again. Siguro, when you graduate, it's not about you anymore. It's about the the, re- the relationships you, you you build in your in your workplace it's about fighting for against injustice fighting against oppression let's go with dudes naman okay so yeah, para sa akin pagiging scholar ay kailangan isa kang thinker at isa ka rin doer so yun syempre yung kailangan yung mga natutunan mo sa loob ng klase natutunan mong theories natutunan mong subjects kailangan kaya mo rin siya ipot into practice what about you, Beth? I think being a scholar ng bayan means that you have a critical mind and also that you're not afraid to speak out when there's something that's wrong. Even if you do get backlash for it, which, you know, we do. It's knowing in yourself na, you know, this is correct. And what I also like is when you do receive the backlash, parang you don't make it phase you na lang eh. What your next goal is to educate these kinds of people, the parang they, they just don't understand what we're trying to say. 
And I think it's a misconception kasi sa atin na uh, we're so like matatalino daw, ganyan ganyan. So we don't like teaching other people who aren't as smart as us or something. Pero I think it's really the opposite eh. Parang um, knowing that we were given this education and, and the privilege to even study in UP. Parang our duty nga for other people and to share these learnings. Kasi kung sa atin sa atin lang yung learnings and then what's the point so i think being an scholar ng bayan is to you know be a critical thinker and also be able to share these learnings that we we got from studying in it okay so now naman since everyone loves music if it describe yeah. mo yung up life mo using a song or a song title what would it be let's start with bettina Okay, so the song that I chose was Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. It's super upbeat. My time in UP, parang you feel like you're going and going now. Parang what I love about UP is that you feel like you're limitless. Parang, yes, ganon. <laughs> Pero parang, you know, like you, you fight, you're fine. You're, no matter where you go. And even now that we're graduates na, parang that value of fighting through whatever life brings you, like what Bitty said. Parang nothing can stop me from achieving what I want to achieve. Actually, like, that's a good point. Kasi, di ba, parang UP builds the momentum nga. And then, you shouldn't stop. Kasi, like, after UP, my real world na ganyan. Okay, let's go with, ano, naman, Doobs. Yun, sa akin naman, ano, Midnight Memories by Wonder yes. Rush. Yes! <laughs> Para sa lahat ng puyat. Puyat, eh? Parang, <laughs> oh, Midnight oh Memories. God. Ayan, ayan. Oh, ano, thanks for the memories, Fallout Boy. So, as in good, bad, you know, the the, the memories we'll have in college, in, in, in especially in UP, it, it will be with us we'll, for the rest of our lives. Yeah, thanks for the memories. We really have a lot of good, fun memories in UP. Of course, and not to mention, actually, like pre med soft parang gave us so much memories. Woo! Yes! So, Shout like, out! Talaga. Okay, so for me naman, I would choose yung I Live by, ano, by One Republic. Kasi yung high school ako parang like, I thought it was the most fun part of my life. But like, UP talaga changed that. As in like, in perspectives in life. As in, I grew as a person. Ganyan, ganyan. And yun nga, with memories that we've made together sa org and like with other people. Parang, not only yung mga memories that will stay with me, but also yung learnings na napulot ka sa mga yan. So I would choose I Live. Okay, so next question would be like, like, what's one advice that you would want to give your fresh self? So since like graduates na tayo, ganyan, ano naman yung pag nakikita niyo yung fresh self niyo noon, what would that ano, advice be? Let's start with um, Dubs. Ayan, sige. Ako, magsasabi ko lang sa'yo, wah, manonood siya. Fresh self. Ay, kung may lang, at patuloy ka lang magpatuloy dahil matatapos ka rin. Indian uh-huh. racing, so enjoy mo lang ang college life mo at mga you can do it. Okay, Ayan. what about you, Billy? The small Billy, freshy Billy. Don't be afraid to take on new opportunities, even though they're scary. Because mm-hmm. I know na I've missed a lot of good opportunities that have come my way because parang hindi ko kaya or or some some other part of, of of my life will be compromised like my academics or my sport my swim, swimming so don't be don't be afraid okay what about the little betina okay so um one quote kasi that i really took to heart is comparison is the thief of joy and when you enter you because you're in the midst of so many brilliant people and me as in fresh you betina parang uh, I couldn't help but compare myself to other people's achievements, ganyan, ganyan. Pero my advice is, you know, the only person you should be comparing yourself to is yourself. Um, yourself yesterday, yourself in the past. And to really just push on to become a better you in the future. And it's, you know, just relax ka lang, like enjoy. As in, the ride is gonna be crazy but you're gonna enjoy it so much. Yeah, I feel ko naman lahat ng mga viewers natin today will pick like some learning sa mga sinabi nyo. But before we end, I want you guys to like say a message, like catch right lang, to the current or future scholar ng bayan since pasokan na naman. So let's start with Billy. Live college life as it, as it was meant to be. To try to do everything and anything you can. I mean, syempre, your your academic shouldn't be compromised. But go party, go go drinking, pag 
pag pwede naman go go have fun go go join orgs go do a sport college is a place of growth Mm-hmm. and a place of opportunity and a place of learning. More than your success in academics, you're building a skill set, you're building your network, you're making connections with people. So don't be consumed with, with academics. Go have fun. Go live college life as it was meant. What about you, Bets? I guess for all of you watching that are future is scholar ng bayan, don't be so intimidated by the fact that you're a UP student. You know, we're all just people. And yun nga, like what Billy said, talaga go make memories. I swear, like super fun talaga ng college. Like, as it don't remove yourself na parang, okay, I have to get high grades all the time. Pero, you know, the grades will follow as long as you work hard for it. Pero yun nga, don't fall into the trap na I don't have enough time. You know, just make time for it. You'll make time for your actants, make time for our orgs. Kanya, like, yung orgs talaga super, super fun. It's amazing the the community that you get in UP orgs as in it's really a family. And it's not just parang drinking buddies or something. It's really a place where you can grow, develop skills, your leadership skills, or whatever skills that you want to develop. Even if before, or akala mo hindi mo kaya, malalaman mo dito na kayang-kaya mo. So don't be afraid of taking risks and you know go for that opportunity. Okay, very well said. Last but not the least, dudes. Ayun, kagaya nga ng sinabi nila, scholar ng bayan, sulitin mo yung college life mo. Experience mo na lahat ng pwede mong experience kasi parang yung college yung sweet time kung pwede, saan pwede ka magkamali kasi bata ka pa, ganyan. Tapos matuto ka sa mga pagkakamali nga at, at sa mga experiences na um, pwede mo pang makuha. Yun, sabi nga ni Rufa May, go lang ng go, go lang ng go ka dyan. Experience mo talaga lahat. At syempre, lahat ang gagawin mo lagit lagi para lang sa babae. Grabe, very nice and fun yun. Also, like, I just want to remind our viewers, yung isa sa mga learnings that I got from our org, PPP MedSoc, yung rest if you must, but don't you quit. Like, laging yun talaga yung motivation ko na, like, minsan napapagod talaga tayo since, like, UP yun nga, mahira, pero masaya. Make, like, memories talaga and then have fun. Kasi, at the end of the day, um, aside from you being a student, isa kang, like, human being. So, like, you have yeah. fun and like you know just make the most out of your UP life so i just want to thank you guys for you know being with me tonight and you know for making time and i wish you all the best sa med school good luck thanks baby thanks baby thanks for having me